Hello, I'm Ronald McCollum, a solution architect at Resin.io. Today, I'm going to demonstrate how you can combine the deployment and device management capabilities of Resin with the IBM Watson Internet of Things platform for data collection and analysis to create an end-to-end -end IoT solution. I'm starting with a fleet of Raspberry Pis controlled by Resin. I've written a small Python application to create some data points and send it to the Watson IoT service. I'll use the publish event method to send the results of a random number generator to Watson IoT, rolling virtual dice and recording the results. I'll start the process by adding this code to my local Git repository and committing it. Put in a nice commit message so I remember what I did later, and I'm ready to deploy. I'll do a git push of my local branch to Resin, and what you'll see is that Resin receives my code and immediately begins building an image that targets the Raspberry Pis. This image will take the form of a Docker container that will run on top of ResinOS, the Linux-based host operating system on my fleet of devices. Using Docker gives us an extra layer of safety when deploying and means that we don't need to restart the device to update running code. And seeing that unicorn means that the build was successful. You'll see that my Raspberry Pis have been notified that there's a new version of the application available and immediately begin downloading it. If I switch to the Watson IoT view, you'll see that there is a view of the same devices there, including authentication data. This is integrated with Resin to associate messages from physical devices with the correct device in Watson IoT and to ensure the data is authenticated when it is sent. I'll click through to an individual Raspberry Pi in the Resin interface. If I open the environment variables section, you'll see where this integration happens. The same per device ID and authentication is associated with each device in Resin. I can access these variables directly from my Python code, so I don't need to embed any keys or write a custom service to provide these keys to the device. All of this is provided natively by Resin. More detailed information and step-by-step -step instructions for setting up this integration are available in a guide created by my colleague, Gergé Imre, and published on the developer.ibm.com website. The downloads for my fleet of Raspberry Pis are wrapping up, and the new application containers are now starting. Notice that the devices do not reboot when the new application is loaded. If I check back in on the Watson IoT site, I see that connections are being made and the data is flowing into the platform. And that's it. I've created an application to generate or capture data, deployed it to a fleet of remote devices, pushed an update without any risk or reboots, and collected my data in a secure and permanent fashion on Watson IoT. If you'd like to add Resin and Watson IoT integration to your own project, follow our guide on the developer.ibm.com website or visit resin.io. Thank you.